So iPhone 12. Mm-hmm. Uh, iPhone 12. Four, four times better job performance. Uh, I don't know how oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some tests on YouTube, yeah. Some job okay. tests. They're I don't both... know exactly how they get the number four. How do they get that multiplier? Maybe bend tests as well. Uh, the four, I don't understand at all. <laughs> Uh, like because it's it would have probably a little bit better. Yeah, it, for, would that mean that they drop it from four times the height? This, that's not really that accurate because there's a lot of other things that go into it. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, this version of the iPhone 12, I'm sure we're gonna put some pics on the screen right there. Uh, it comes there. with the art. Uh, it could be down there. We'll see. Wherever. Uh, there's time. Uh, yeah. it, to the A14 Bionic processor, yep. and that's the fastest chip in a smartphone. This is the first pro. No, this is the first processor after. I mean, Apple's been on the arms arm structure of their processors. You know, Love arm. Yeah, arm. Cost an arm and a leg for Nvidia. <laughs> okay, but they've been in the art game for a while. That's why you can't use an iPhone six anymore. And that's why Apple still has support for their iPhone SE, which I use, which is at the same line as the iPhone 6S, and they, that's when they started using ARM. You know, okay. But Apple just quit out. They just stopped with Intel. Intel has been doing terrible over the couple, last couple of years, and they don't want to be in that mess. And Apple already has their own good in-house processors, which we see right here. They're already far better than Android. Their single core performance is what twice the speed of a Snapdragon, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm fuming. They're they're Go on. yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Apple's faster because they've been in the game. They've been doing their own thing. They've been ma- making sure that their mobile processors are fast enough. With wow, I hate Apple for their coin. I hate them. I love her Louis Rossman. <laughs> Okay. Um, Create your trip together. So the A14 Bionic is. So if you've looked at CPU benchmarks, they they all have every. There's always some standard for a benchmark for that. So what many people on iPhones use and on mobile devices is Geekbench. Have you heard of it? Nope. Geekbench. Crap. Lied me. Well, I'm I've sure heard of it. Crap. I've heard of it. And the single core speeds are like two. They got two hundred points extra than the iPhone eleven. And comparing that to the iPhone ten, that's another two hundred. Let's call the improvement in performance from the iPhone eleven to the twelve the same as a ten to eleven. Yeah. So although the eight fourteen is faster, forty percent faster than the eight twelve, mm-hmm. it won't have too much of a noticeable difference. Yeah. And uh freed up time and time it takes because we're using the OLED. You, you, you won't feel the difference because it's not a crazy generational leap in performance. It's not like switching from an iPhone FC, which is slow as hell, <laughs> to an, an iPhone like 12 or an iPhone 10. Like if you're using an iPhone 10, it's still probably fast and you probably, you'll only see a difference in speed when you test the capabilities of multitasking with RAM. You know, mm-hmm. if you don't know what that is, if you open up a lot of apps, try to open it again and see if it has to completely reload. You know, that's one thing that iPhone, I feel like really perfected. Yeah, I remember iPhone this was a perfected. big thing, a couple, uh, this was a big deal. I believe this was between the iPhone five and the six, that time period. Uh, when um, you know, if uh, oh, so annoying, click, <laughs> if you double click the iPhone button, uh, at, mm-hmm. uh, what used to happen is it would reload it, or I believe you could choose and it would run it at the same time. Now it dims it; it like saves the state, right? Mm-hmm. But that, that's yeah. because it has the space in the RAM mm-hmm. to to do so. Now uh, back then it was like two gigs of RAM, probably. Now it's four. But the pro model of the iPhone 12 does have six, I do believe. 
okay. at minimum. And uh, yeah, I've seen oh. I've seen reviews of it, and it, it it was a lot faster than like it, it was it was like what a minute faster than the iPhone 11 in reloading apps, and that's I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I don't have an iPhone. Uh, you're doing the smart financial okay. decision. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Finance is one of the things that we are also touching up on. Exactly, right? and that is coming soon. That yeah. is coming That's soon. <laughs> yeah, or, uh, we're getting video. Yeah, we're um, getting to it. Uh, yeah, pixel density also increased yep. in a OLED display compared to LCD. So you got pure black. Yep. That's and uh, dual camera system. I don't know much about cameras. Maybe you do. Maybe you the don't. Oh, iPhone honestly. 11 doesn't have Dolby certified. Uh, I don't know. It, thing about certification sometimes. Okay, so Dolby's certification for the camera is HDR, so it mm. can do HDR photos, videos, whatnot. The iPhone 11, I think it can do HDR, right? I don't know. Uh, Shit's weird. They, they they both have the same cameras. Mm. Uh, the one difference that you will see is slightly better colors at night, and we will put pictures up on the screen. Because I, I've I've seen these pictures. Uh, it's there's a reason why not many of the iPhone 12s have been sold because it's not that big of a generational improvement in performance. Mm. Maybe in the color, the quality of the display. Maybe in the quality of the charging of the the, the, the whatever charger they added to. Uh, that, that, that's one thing that I heard some stuff about. Mm-hmm. Um, that there were improvements in they, charging, they, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, there are new innovations. Be- there are always going to be improvements. This is like but one of the, the question is, is it worth the money? You go. Okay. Uh, personally, I don't think it's worth the money. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Danila. And my name is Nikita. And, and this, this has, has been, been a Suave Talk. talk.